Hello there, and this is Beth with the December New Moon reading, and the last one of these I'm doing in um, 2016. It's kind of amazing that we're already there. Okay. The first card is from the Wheel of Fortune Tarot. It's a major arcana deck. It's the chariot. And we just want to go charging into that new year. We want to get there so bad. We just want to bulldoze in. We're running in. We're not looking. We're just going. No heed to what is happening. We're just like done. Done with this year. On to the new one. I want you to, I want to ask you to just pull back from that mm, chariot energy of that momentum just a little and not be quite so heedless of that rushing forward. How can you have a little more control over it? How can you slow it back and consider what is actually happening with it? Because this card with the goddess Saraswati and Ammonite stone is from word to world. And with the chariot, it's just blindly going forward. It's going to run things over. It's going to run you over if you let it. But what we're seeing here, Saraswati is a goddess of deep love, of deep healing. And bringing her love and healing into that chariot energy. So you're not just racing healers heedlessly forward and not paying attention to what's happening it because your word is creating your world and how you're thinking about your world is creating your world and not thinking about it is also creating your world and she's calling for you to bring in a bit more presence you can keep that momentum you you can want to be out of this year that's fine but bring presence into it as you transition and there's actually quite a bit of feminine energy that is balancing out this energy of go, go, go. Act, act, act. Do, do, do. Don't think. Just go. That's with the chariot. Because we've got Saraswati here. And then and this was up. Oh, crystal Mandala cards, before I forget. And this is the Keeper of the Light stack, which I'm totally entranced with right now. So... First card from that deck is Mother Mary, love and peace. And her affirmation is, let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. <clears throat> that doesn't sound like a very chariot-like energy. How can you bring Mother Mary into this chariot energy? How can you bring Saraswati into that chariot energy? It's really a call to bring that love and compassion in with these two cards especially. <clears throat> excuse me into that chariot energy and bring compassion bring love bring peace bring bring like this instead of thinking of like racing headlong how can you glide forward how can you just kind of with peace and love as opposed to running through things barely over it just getting through it to get through it without much thought. Oh my goodness. Kitty has much to say on this subject. But there's this call here to balance out this momentum with compassion and love. So really pay attention to how you're moving through this transition of the end of this year into next year. Are you just barreling forward? with that much thought for what's going on or what you're saying or what you're doing to create what you want to happen in your world in the next next year. Yeah, remember, this is the setup. I always see this like kind of last week as the setup for the next year. It's the time where I personally kind of start to let go of my old year card and reflect on what I did with that one in this year. 2016 was the lovers for me and I'll go into actually the chariot next year so I reflect on how that year has happened and how I'm transitioning how is that energy changing for me how do I want to set up my next year it's a very reflective time where I choose to go under the radar and not do 
a lot of readings or anything like that. Just to bring in this, you know, how, how is my word going to show up in my world energy? How can I go out of one year and into another with love and peace? Which brings us to our final card. And that is Freya, Phases and Cycles. And her affirmation says, There is beginning within every ending. Illusions are revealed and released. And once again, we see that changing of cycles. We see a time frame here of how are we setting ourselves up for the next year? How are we exiting this year? How can we bring love and peace into this momentum that we are carrying? Yeah, there's... There's an aspect of her, too, that can be very fierce, which I think plays well with the chariot. Because she's not necessarily a go, go, go goddess. At least my experience dealing with her for me. She's more measured, but she's still got a lot of momentum. And she uses that momentum kind of, think of it in a cyclical manner. She's not just going all the time. She's not heedlessly or mindlessly working through the problems. She's using her knowledge, her sorcery, her depth of being to work with momentum and things like the chariot and working through things like that. So, you know, it's like you come here and you want to just roll through it. And then you get these two cards that go so well together with Mother Mary and Saraswati of being peace and love and compassion and bringing that into this hard momentum, bringing the soft into the hard. And finally with Freya, who is realizing that, yes, there are cycles and we are coming to the end of one. How do we want to go into the new one? How do we want to bring our magic with us? How do we want that to show up? How can we be magical in the mundane and mundane be magical how can you set up the beginning of next year in the end of this year and that is it thank you so much for watching this year you guys have just been awesome and I really appreciate everyone who has subscribed and liked and commented and watched me babble on for this past year, especially on the YouTube Taken Challenge stuff. Thank you so much for watching, and we will continue the full moon and new moon readings in the next year, in 2017. Alrighty, much love to you all, and have a wonderful new year. Be safe and happy. Blessings rain down on you this next year. Bye-bye.